So working with uh, session state in the controller and views uh, really involves saving our session data in the controller and then accessing that session data in the view. Um, and so uh, instead of passing view bags or um, temp data, we actually saved the data. Uh, and adjusting the program CS file is kind of the first step to get your app ready for session state. And the next step is to modify the controller. So in the controller where we would normally maybe use a view bag or temp data, um, what we have to do is use a, the HTTP context class and then use a property named session And then um, there are several different methods that we can use. And so I've kind of listed all of these methods out. And you can see that basically we can deal with numbers or strings. Uh, and there's two different set methods. Uh, so we have a key that lets us access the data. And then we have a value. And if you use set int 32, your value is going to be an integer. And if you use set string, your value is going to be a string. And that is the limitation of the session data. You can store it as an integer or a string. Okay? And then in the view, when we retrieve it, we can either use get int 32 or get string. And you'll see we, we retrieve it with the key only. And then if we want to remove the session data, we would remove it with the key. Um, so this little example uh, happens to be in a controller. And we are retrieving uh, an integer that was stored as session data. The key is called num. That is the key that we are using to access the number. Okay. And then we are increasing the number by one. And then we are storing it as session data again. The key being number. And then the value is the variable num, okay, which we have added one to. Uh, so this would be typical for a counter. You know, if you're going to count the number of times they went into a view or something like that. Uh, in um, the view, uh, we use the context property to access the session data. And in order to do that, we do need to add a using directive to the top of the view. And you may also have to have a using a, a directive added to the top of the controller. Okay. Um, but you will need it in the top of the view. And then to retrieve that session data, it's context.session.getInt32, and then you use the key. Okay, so this is inside Razor, and this is inside uh, the HTML itself. 